Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today we're going to do a, a reading for really all signs. Well, it is for all signs. I'm going to break it down per sign. So we'll start with the Aries and then we'll just move accordingly. Um, I'm going to try to fit it all into one reading. My, my um, laptop will record for three hours. So hopefully I can get it done within then. So we're going to do every sign. Um, just see what, by the way, happy Halloween. Uh, so this is really for November. What is November, in, uh, what is November offering you? Um, what do you need to know? You know, how can you best succeed through the month? Um, I brought out a lot of different decks, so, you know, we'll, we'll go back and forth between different decks. I also brought out a few extra decks. So I brought out the major arcanas, whoops which I am going to take for each sign. I also have the Romance Angels out in case love comes out. I'm going to put these over to the side, though. And to clarify or go a little bit deeper, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start with the Light Seers. Well, the two cards didn't want to come with it. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So this is going to be for Aries. Um, I'm going to put these back, but that's a good omen, Aries. Uh, so I'm going to start with Aries and go around the clock. Um, just real quick, I do want to let you know I am running a holiday special on personal readings. Um, $25 off, whether it be a regular reading. You know, and I say regular reading. They're like two hours long. They're very, very in-depth. But I also offer emergency readings for those, you know, um, maybe you just feel like you can't wait or there's something you need an answer to, you know, sooner versus later. Um, $25 off each one. So whatever one you choose. Also, you can order them as a gift for someone you love and there's no there's no expiration date on them you can use them whenever you want if it is a gift just let me know and um give me the name of the person so i can put them in my schedule and that's it 25 dollars off um very seldom do i run specials because you know it does take all my energy in a personal reading but i'm happy to give happy to give so that's really all I had to say. I say, let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm going to bring the lid down and we are going to start again with Aries. We're going to use the Light Sears Tarot. I feel like I brought the lid down a little too far. There we go. And let's go ahead and begin with the Major Arcana. Um, everything, all the decks have already been pre-shuffled, but... I do like to give them a shuffle with you here. So let's start with the Major Arcana. You know, it's interesting. I feel like that's it right there. Let's slide these over here. So Aries. Hmm. We open up with the Death card. Um, don't freak out. <laughs> this certainly, you know, this, first of all, it's a card of Scorpio. So some of you may be connected to a Scorpio. But this talks about doors that are closing, a door that needs to close, that would suit you to close it. But it is a promise of a new door opening, always, always a new door opens. Um, it can certainly talk about like rebirth. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting this feeling. And by the way, just so those who are new understand, I do read through my spirit guides and I certainly would advise you to ask your own spirit guides to give you signs of confirmation throughout this reading and you may also um align with both your sun moon and rising so you know all that being said so we start with the death card okay put that right there and let's go ahead and give the light seers a shuffle And I'm going to take off the top of the deck just to save us some time. But again, I read through my spirit guide. So 
I feel like they'll put the right cards in place for us. All right, Aries. Actually, I want to slide these all down, give myself a little bit more room. And I'll let you know the name of the decks I'm using for each sign. So let's put the death card right there. And let's begin. Well, hello, Emperor. So this is your major arcana. Interesting. I love that. I love when your major arcana shows in your reading. Um, some of you, this closing of a door, I don't know. I get a feeling some of you may be starting a new business. This may be the perfect time. Like, this is divine timing for you. Um, you know, the emperor to me, definitely the father figure. Doesn't have to be a father figure, though, but can be for some. Um, but this is someone who I feel is like methodical, leader of the people, but leads through their experiences, you know what I mean? Which is the best type of teacher, I think. Someone who's been where you've been. So I love that your major arcana shows. We have the three of cups. Joy. Something that's going to be worth celebrating. So when the death card says a door, you know, you don't have to close this door because you do have free will. But I feel like what this is saying, because the death card is about transformation, that allowing yourself to have this transformation feels like a very good thing. And this is also the energy of rejoicing in celebration. So it's something that's going to bring joy to your heart. I have a feeling it's just going to feel right. We have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. This can talk about your inner self. You know, learning to love yourself again. Um, I often read this as like the inner child. I love this image because it's like you're connecting to your higher self. And don't forget that you have this whole spiritual team we all do. That's assigned to us before we even step foot or even we were born into this lifetime. But we always have this connection. It never goes away. So for some of you, it's like intuitively, I feel like you're connecting to your higher self. Okay. We have another page, page pentacles. Um, by the way, I should say the Page of Cups can certainly represent like a younger uh, water sign. You know, Scorpio. We had Scorpio right there. Pisces, Cancer. Um, and then the Page of Pentacles can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But coming under the Emperor, I feel like this is talking about you building, like you're building up. I feel like you're building a career. Maybe this is something new. You know, maybe you're ready to take the leadership role. I definitely feel like you're ready. And maybe you don't even know it's coming your way with the Three of Cups. Again, something that's coming your way that does give you the opportunity to celebrate it. Page of Pentacles to me, it's, it's about a path of knowledge. It's the knowledge I've gained through my experiences. And it feels perfect coming under your major arcana. We have the Four of Pentacles. Um, Four of Pentacles, to me, it's about being grounded. It is, it can certainly talk about home. Some of you may be like buying a home, moving, and finding that perfect place. Um, the only the only negative energy with the Four of Pentacles to me is sometimes where I can just hold on to only my ideas and think there's no other ways out there. You know what I mean? Like being resistant to change. But I don't, I really don't feel that. I feel this is more about you becoming grounded. Um, it's about taking what you have learned so far, again, connecting to your higher self, what you've learned on this physical plane. And then probably putting it into action. Some of you, this could talk about working from home. And let's take one more. Mm, the tower. All right. So 
That's probably why the death card is here. You know, maybe it is about something I didn't expect. You know, the tower talks about disruption in one's life. Maybe I didn't plan it, but it happened anyway. But listen, you know, I often feel with the tower, as time goes by, we look back at this tower, which really does change something in your life. You know, whether I wanted it or, you know, I, for some of you, I feel like you're giving this tower to a boss. It's like, take this job and shove it. I don't, I forget the rest of the words, but, um, you know, because I feel instinctively there's something you want to do and instinctively you're feeling that the time is right. Now I feel like it's just trusting that intuition Remember, Aries, you are the seed planter. And if you plant no seeds, you'll have no harvest. So you definitely want to be planting seeds. And I feel like plant them daily. All right. Let's go ahead and take the Gilded Chiron over this. So you have two major arcana. Well, really three. Major Arcanas out of seven cards. So there could be two major changes coming up. You know, even though the tower's here, I don't feel like there's any fear in this tower. Like I, like, I allow myself to feel the energy. And I'm not feeling like, oh my God, there's a tower. I just don't feel that. I feel really like I'm ready for change. I'm ready to begin something new. Um, and again, I feel like the universe is, is helping to bring it your way. You always have the right to say yes or no. But again, rejoicing and celebration, joy to your heart. I don't know why I would say no. But always your choice. Well, you know, sometimes you can lose a job, which is not your choice. But in a way, I feel like your spiritual team is like... We're doing it to help you, maybe to push you to take this knowledge you already have and create from that. You know, the emperor can be someone who does very well in business. Um, and I feel like in the emperor's energy, a lot of people look up to the emperor, you know, again, leading the people and feeling comfortable with that. Your personal experiences. I feel like that's what the Page of Cups mirroring you is talking about and connecting to your higher self, allowing this transformation. But let's go ahead and take the Gilded Tarot. I can't make these real long or, again, my computer will shut off. And if that happens, I'll just do a part two. So these, I'm going to let them out naturally. Okay, well, they definitely wanted shuffled. You know, I'm looking also at the emperor, and he's looking towards the future, not looking at the past. And it also looks like he's carrying the beacon of light of the hermit. That's wisdom wise the things that you have learned have made you wise this is why people come to you you know you may have like just out of the blue people who come to you looking for help support guidance and i feel like you can naturally give it all right well look at this six of pentacles Six of Pentacles, um, empathetic, compassionate, and that's what Aries is. I know some are going to say, not all of them, and that's true, but I feel like that depends on, like, you know, how one was raised, what's happened in one's life, but on a soul level, they are very compassionate, they are very empathetic. I feel like, I feel like Aries um you you think a lot about like the underdog like you don't like seeing anything happening to someone that 
just doesn't seem fair, doesn't seem right. Six of Pentacles is also that um, it's learning that fine art of give and take. But I also feel like, you know, if you're using your empathy and you're creating, let's say, a business through that, I feel, uh, boy, I just feel success. We have the three of wands. Beautiful. That's the energy of optimism coming over the energy of joy. Um, the three of wands is about living in the present moment. Knowing that your ships will come in in their due time, you know, and what I mean by that is just trusting in divine. As long as I'm willing to put the effort in, you know, and then connecting to your higher self, I feel like the rest will just follow. All right. We have the Queen of Swords. Now, she was reversed. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, Queen of Swords can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also talk about, you know, I feel like for some of you, it may have felt like your voice had been shut down. Maybe you work somewhere where people weren't respecting your work. You know, what it is you could bring to the table. And, you know, I kind of love the white doves that's all around her sword. Again, connecting to your higher self and then all these beautiful white doves. That feels like spirit to me. We have the two of pentacles. So there you go. It's putting the ball in your court. They call this a juggler's card. I call it using your logical mind. You know, using the logical mind to decide if if I'm ready, if I do want to create something. We have the Ten of Wands. That's why the death card is here. Ten of Wands talks about a period of time where there was a lot of responsibilities on your back. You carried the weight. It's like carrying the weight of the world. But is that what I want? You know what I mean? And... And this may be where you've learned a lot of these experiences that, that will then help you moving forward. You know, I feel like for some of you, it definitely feels like, like a job ended, something ended. The death card is definitely signifying that also, but also that the new door is going to open. With the Ten of Wands, I feel like I want that new door to open. And if you look what's right above it, Again, optimism, joy. Why do I not want it to open? I'm just going to go ahead and take another one. We have, interesting, the Page of Swords, under the Queen of Swords, over the Tower. It feels to me like some of you, for some reason, I feel like your voice has been shut down. Like your ideas um, have been shut down. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe even someone taking advantage of what it is that you can bring to the world. But listen, maybe you were meant to do it on your own. And I don't mean completely on your own, but I mean like this will then be your baby if you are, let's say, starting your own business. Or let's say you've already started your own business. Then I feel like what this is saying is the hard times are coming to an end. Like those ships within the Three of Wands... They're about to reach shore. That's why you're celebrating. You know, but maybe the closing of the door was, I don't know, it feels like the most important energy here because if I don't close one door, a new door can't open. I feel like this is saying trust yourself. Trust yourself in whatever it is you want to bring to the world. You know, and I feel like because we have the two of swords that is mirroring the page of swords, but also that page is coming over the tower. It it does feel like, like, I don't know, like I get this feeling like someone has shut down my voice and it's really affected me in, again, like my inner child type energy where I, I stop believing in myself. But then I feel very quickly the universe is going to, is going to help change those feelings for you. You know, again, ships are coming in in the Three of Wands. Three of Wands, again, is about living in the present moment. Why is it important, important for us to live in the present moment? Because that's where our signs are sent. 
in the present moment. And again, connecting to your higher self. I feel like this is saying trust yourself. Trust your voice. Trust what it is you want to bring to the world. I definitely feel like other people will look up to you. Um, you know, because of the wisdom you now have. And I feel like the Ten of Wands then goes away. You know, and for some of you who already have, let's say, a business, this could talk about, again, the the heavy, the, you know, getting it all set up, the hard work. Now it's about enjoying it. And again, knowing that, you know, let's say you're selling something that people will find you. You know, I feel like I feel like your guides will direct people to you. Interesting. I feel like I just want to take a card between the queen and the page. Eight of wands. What I think about, I bring about. This always reminds me of the law, the law of attraction. What I think about, I bring about. This is also fast moving energy. So, you know, seeing the fruits of your labor and seeing them soon. And I don't feel like it just stops. Like, I feel like it's it's an energy that continues on as long as you're willing to focus upon it. When I think about it, I bring about now could just relate also to love for some of you. It could. Because we do have the Page of Swords connected to the Queen of Swords. But let's not forget, she was in reverse. Um, let's just take one more over her. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Well, first of all, I love that we now have the Nine of Pentacles. Because that's the first thing I felt in your reading. That you're creating something for yourself. This is successful self-employment. Some of you, I do feel like you're working from home. Um, but you know, who reaps the benefits of the Nine of Pentacles, you do. You do. This is a very independent type energy. So, you know, it's funny, this little bird is like helping to guide her. And I feel like that's your spiritual team. Maybe one in particular helping to guide you to, you know, on your next steps, feeling comfortable within it. But again, this is success. You know, I feel like if anyone is thinking of starting a business, working on their own, I feel like this is saying that you have the opportunity, as long as you're willing to put the work in, to be truly successful. You know, the Ten of Wands, again, could be the groundwork that was laid and now. Everything is starting to flow for you. You know, think about what you're thinking about. But don't, don't like overthink, you know, because with the Nine of Pentacles, that is a card of Virgo. And one of Virgo's traits, I know I am a Virgo, is we can overthink. You know, can I be successful? The answer is yes. Not just yes, but I feel like you're being guided. Some of you, it could be a spiritual-based business, you know, where you're now trusting your higher self. So, we open it up. We open up the reading with closing a door. And then very quickly, we see why. You know, it feels like opportunity is just going to show itself. It feels like guidance. It's just going to show. But the one requirement is that you be in the present moment like so don't think too far out and don't think back only extract the wisdom of your experiences i could definitely see you helping others in some way um, with your compassion itself and helping others to flourish in some way as you yourself flourish you know this feels like it's talking more about your money than anything. But it's a good, good omen to have the Nine of Pentacles here, you know, and there's that tower. So if I lost a job, 
Well, yeah, that sucks. But did it not then help me create something on my own? Does it not then open the door to new opportunity? And then your higher self reaching you, guiding you, you know, saying, don't worry about this tower. Yes, that tower stings for a moment, but that doesn't last long. As long as you're being proactive. I feel like one of the biggest messages is here is about trusting in your own voice and trusting in your ability to create. I feel like this is just the beginning, Aries, just the beginning of what feels like success. Some of you could certainly be something you went to school for. But again, in the two of pentacles, it does put the ball in your court. And it is mirroring the tower. So, you know, I feel like what it's saying is, am I going to allow this new door to open? Am I going to trust within myself to create the type of life I really want? You know, maybe I had to work for another company um, just because for, for the finances. But you definitely have the ability to create these finances on your own. I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if, like, you were at work. And, you know, you have these great ideas and then maybe someone else is like claiming them as their own. Well, Aries, I know you won't take that long. So that tower, I feel like it's it's one of two things. It's either, you know. Well, it does feel like it's an ending to something. And yes, it may feel difficult at the moment. But I feel like what your reading is saying is. Trust yourself. Trust within your abilities. Know that you can really create true abundance for yourself. It's right here. It's right here. Success. As long as I'm willing to put the work in. And I feel like you're doing something that feels very compassionate. And I, that can only bring, you know, when we speak about karma. Listen, I feel like you're creating good karma here. And success. Good karma and success. So I feel like the Ten of Wands, where it feels like the weight of the world was on my shoulders, that feels like it's changing now. And I definitely feel like some of you are working from home or creating a business that you're going to be doing out of your home. And maybe you question. Can I truly be successful? The Nine of Pentacles would say, as long as you're willing to put the focus in, then you will be successful. And I love that I can see the Eight of Wands kind of popping out there. So again, it's like your ideas. You know, what I think about, I bring about. Well, it feels like you're bringing about real success. Okay, I'm going to let that be. So I feel like November... For you is the beginning of abundance, but real abundance. All right, let's pick these up. And by the way, again, I just love how um, you showed up in your own reading. All right, so we're going to continue on. And we are going to go to Taurus. I feel like I want to take these cards, though. And I want to use the whole deck. So let's give them a shuffle or two. All I will have these time stamped, by the way. But I would recommend that you watch your sun, moon, and rising. And then... Try to put them together. See if they're giving you one big message. All right. Taurus. We have the page of wands. Look at this image. You know, I call the page of wands my risk taker. And she's like throwing her wand. And I feel like wherever that wand lands is where I'm going. So I'm taking a chance on something here. By the way, I forgot to bring out 
your major arcana. So let me give these a good shuffle. Well, hello, beautiful sun. Uh, first of all, Cardaleo. But this is a this is your illuminator. You know, I feel like when the sun shows up in any reading, it's speaking about you know happy times. And that makes sense with the Page of Wands because I feel like I feel like the Page of Wands energy right now, she feels kind of carefree. You know, like wherever that wand lands is where I'm gonna go. So let's see where that wand lands. Hello, King of Swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be that. I know I drive people crazy when I say that, but I'm really looking at the energy is what I'm doing. So this is someone, if you just look at the image, it's like they have reached their mountaintop. I feel like this page is ready to reach a new mountaintop. This is someone who definitely has overcome a lot. But then again, reached a mountaintop. We have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. It almost feels like it doesn't fit. Eight of Swords, you know, it's a self-created prison. But again, look at this image. Again, it's like connecting to your higher self. It's like your higher self is trying to show you what you're doing to yourself, right? Eight of Swords, this is where we're building up walls, barriers. You know, maybe we don't have 100% trust in ourselves. We're trying to protect ourselves from something. At this moment, I don't see what you're trying to protect yourself from. So this could certainly be old energy. But again, it's like the higher self showing you, your earthly being, what's happening here. And the sun, there's no way you won't. You won't know if you're creating, um, again, this self-created prison. I call it a self-created prison because I'm really, in a way, I am putting up walls. And I do feel like it has to do with something of the past. But maybe that's what I have to let go of. You know, I feel like when we uncreate that prison, and the only one who can uncreate it is you, to me, it's freedom. It's freedom. And the sun is definitely illuminating that to you. We have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's why the Eight of Swords was created. We have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. We have the Five of Cups. Interesting. I have a feeling some of you, there could be someone of your past that you're missing. Five of Cups really is about the past. This person is really focusing on the cups that have been knocked over. You know, to me, that talks about, let's say it's love, love that didn't work out, that might have hurt me in some way. You know, maybe that's what the King of Swords is. Maybe this is someone that you were connected to. By the way, to me, I don't read like the king or the queen as like they have to be the masculine or they have to be the feminine because we both carry, we all carry both. I don't know who both is. We all carry masculine and feminine energy within us. But this is definitely talking about something of the past, something emotional. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're overcoming something or you're trying you're trying to overcome something, a person. You know, five speaks about change. Um, and eight talks about a new beginning. So you have a new beginning with change. So it feels like there's a new beginning that wants to open up. Also, I want to say before I put this down, if you just look at it, well, it doesn't really show it here. 
Um, but normally what you'll see in the Five of Cups is someone's either focusing on, again, what I have lost, the cups that have been knocked over, and it is of an emotional nature. Uh, but truly, what's behind this energy are two cups, soulmate. That's what it represents to me, a soulmate. I feel like this king with the Six of Pentacles right below him, this could certainly talk about someone who at one time, um, you know, first of all, I feel like you, you, it's like you have to free yourself. You have to find a way to free yourself, free your emotional self, you know, put down the walls because you don't need those walls. Your in, your um, intuition is your guide. And the sun being here, it's like everything will be illuminated to you. This Five of Cups is mirroring the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords could certainly speak about a repeat pattern with someone. A repeat pattern, but not a good you know, not a good energy. It's like in the Ten of Swords, it really is like taking dagger after dagger in the back. But I have to say with this image, this is someone who's now now has that realization. This is someone who's moving away from those Ten Swords. So I am breaking whatever patterns, you know, I had. I am taking that wand of the Page of Wands. Again, my little risk taker. And I'm going to throw that that wand and wherever it goes, wherever it lands is where I go. She is throwing it to the King of Swords. So, you know, listen, maybe this King of Swords is someone of the past. But even if it's someone of the past, I feel like because this king has reached their mountaintop, you know, with and this king's got the Six of Pentacles underneath it. Again, that fine art of give and take. Maybe they had to realize that, you know, as a taker. It could also talk about someone who, who needed to overcome something like addiction or let's just say lower vibrational energy. I feel like they did because they are sitting upon their mountaintop. And he seems very patient, like almost waiting for you. This does not have to be the person of the, a person of the past. This may be someone who's brand new. And you may not have a clue yet. But then again, the sun's here. It's going to help illuminate that for you. I also feel like the sun is very playful type energy. As do I feel the page of wands is. It's like I had enough. Had enough in the Ten of Swords. Maybe I've been waiting and waiting for someone to change their ways. Um, you know, I feel this king in two different ways. Yes, it can be someone of the past. But if it is someone of the past, I do feel like they've changed. I do feel like they have evolved. Again, I feel like there's something that they've overcome in their life that really has held them back. But yet. It's being met by your walls. So, can they get through those walls? Is this a potential soulmate? And maybe the only way that I can truly meet this soulmate is to understand that I've been in this, you know, again, kind of like a repeat pattern. I feel like for some of you, it's like you've been giving and giving and giving and not receiving but now you have to tell yourself i deserve to receive you know it's a requirement if you want to be with me i do feel like your higher self is gonna is gonna reach you you know what i mean especially with again the sun illuminating these walls but it's telling us why within the five of cups so i feel like this might be a good place to bring in the romance angels. And I just want to look at this King of Swords. Let's give him a cut. 
Okay, that feels like it's it. Then I'm gonna take that. Okay. Yeah. It's it. Release your ex. That makes sense. Taurus, your ex is that ten of swords. Your ex is that repeat pattern. Your ex is what created is what really caused you to create these walls. Now, I say that, but I but I want you to understand it's you who created them. And it's only you who can uncreate them. The time has come to clear your energy. And I am looking at this king. Now, I have a feeling this, I don't know. I just feel like this king is not your ex. I don't know. I just don't feel that. And then, hello, this could be the one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting. All right, so. Let's put these with the sun. And let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. You know, when it says this could be the one, in that Five of Cups, when I'm no longer focusing on the energy, again, of what I have lost, because I don't want to focus on that because it brought me the Ten of Swords. That means dagger after dagger after dagger in your back. Because we open the reading with the Page of Wands and we have the Sun, I do feel like you're giving yourself a new opportunity. You know, maybe you're just literally saying to the universe, okay, I'm ready to let go of the old. I'm ready to welcome in what's new. And the old would be an X. The new is, this could be the one. So let's look a little deeper at that. There's the emperor. Your neighbor. Right over the page of wands. So I feel nothing bad about that. Especially because the emperor is someone, again, that we look up to. Normally. Now, if he was in reverse, I'd say no. We have the Eight of Cups. Well, I have to say, I like this Eight versus the Eight of Swords. Because again, that Eight of Swords, self-created prison. Here, I'm releasing myself from that. This is when someone has really took a deep dive within their emotional house. No longer focusing on what I left. This person is literally leaving these cups behind. Some of the cups are still knocked over. But that's okay. That's okay. Because remember, eight does stand for a new beginning. Interesting is coming right over the king. And then we have hmm, the knight of swords. This could certainly be communication that's coming your way. It's coming into the reading. It is mirroring the emperor. Now, the emperor does not have to mean that this is an Aries. But to me, what it represents is someone, again, that I can look up to. Probably someone I can trust. I feel like, sorry, King of Swords, now I get this feeling that this is your ex. This is what you are releasing. And again, King of Swords doesn't have to be an air sign. And then the Knight of Swords, communication coming in. But it is being met by these walls. However, because we do have the Eight of Cups here, it does make me feel like you freed yourself. So I feel like as this communication comes towards me, I'm much more open to it now than maybe I have been in the past. Remember, this could be the one. We have the Five of Pentacles over the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's just, again, too much, too much, too much. Someone could have broken up with you. Maybe you didn't ask for it. Five of Pentacles, to me, it's kind of like a tower. 
um, I don't feel like in the five of pentacles, I really have the luxury of like sitting back and do not and do nothing. So I feel like it, let's just say, because it says release your ex. If someone has given you a tower, truth be told, they're doing you a favor because this is a five and a five is change. And what's it coming over? The Ten of Swords. I want to change that all day long. This communication may be something you really do not expect. We have the High Priestess, your intuition. Trust your intuition. You know, your intuition guides you. It's your GPS in this lifetime. It's a gift. It's like a muscle. The more I trust it, you know, it's like the more, it's like your spiritual team sending you signs, your higher self sending you signs, but now trusting within that. That's another reason why these walls really are unnecessary. It doesn't mean that you automatically are saying yes to something, but it's hard to pay attention to your intuition when you have those walls built up. And I kind of love that it's coming over or under the Eight of Cups. She's looking right up at the Emperor. I feel like it's the Emperor who is coming in, communicating. I do feel like it's the King of Swords now who you may be saying goodbye to, whether I wanted to or not, you know, but look at the energy around that, that 10 swords, dagger after dagger after dagger after dagger in my back. And I have to say also, I feel like you've been dealing with someone who is very comfortable living in lower vibrational energy. It's their choice, but I don't feel like it's your choice. You know, maybe I tried to make something work with someone who is more concerned of themselves than a partner. I want to remind you again that the sun is here. And to me, it's like the sun is a brand new day. It is playfulness. It's definitely joy. And it is illumination. We have the hermit. Okay, I feel like this is saying that some of you have taken some time, whether I, you know, whether I chose it or not, um, you know, this can be the energy of solitude. But in the hermit's energy, I'm really seeking wisdom. You know, I often feel the hermit it goes through the dark night of the soul. But that dark night of the soul teaches this hermit more than anything. You know, sometimes we need to go through that dark night of the soul. And I know. I've been there. It's no fun. But when you come out the other end, you know, if you just look at the hermit, his lantern is illuminating what's right in front of him. And there's a little snake right here. So it's it's like comfort to know that if anyone of lower vibrational energy is coming towards you, when you emerge from that cave, and I say the cave because often you'll see the hermit going into a cave and that's like the beginning of the dark night of the soul. But this, this hermit's coming out. And I often feel like this is talking about your spirituality, a master teacher. Um, it is the major arcana for Virgo. Some of you could certainly have a Virgo who is going to reach out. I want to just take a card to see what the Hermit's illuminating. Look at that, the Five of Swords. Toxicity. Again, it's like that snake in the grass. But now I see it. Now I can't hide. More reason to bring down those walls. I feel the Hermit is very spiritual energy. So if it's spiritual energy, it means that I am trusting in my spiritual team to guide me, to help me to have a better life. 
you know, but I do have to take the action steps. It is a five. It is change. But the hermit's illuminating that. And I feel like it's illuminating that because I feel like you don't have to worry about it. You know, um, your ex, whether it be recent or maybe it's just energy that you are still hanging on to. You know what I mean? Like I haven't cleared that energy yet. It literally says the time has come to clear your energy. It's like some of you are finally changing your status on social media where maybe I said I was in a relationship. Maybe I even said it was a complicated relationship. But I feel like now it's like I see this like in my mind's eye. I see this flashing single sign, single, single. And to me, that is an invitation like to the universe to go ahead and bring me in. Who could be the one? Literally, someone who could be the one. Let's remember in the Five of Cups, I'm either going to focus on the past, right? And the danger in this energy is it can become woe is me. But when I'm no longer doing that, when I'm saying enough is enough, I'm not going to allow someone to take up this time and space in my head or in my heart anymore. Well, there's soulmate energy behind it. And again, this could be the one with the sun illuminating that. Hmm. Two fives mirroring each other. One that speaks about toxicity, the other the, that speaks about, you know, a change that maybe I didn't ask for, but I have a feeling your spirit guides are like, we know, we know you didn't ask for it, but yet we see that you, how do I say this without putting you down, because I'm not trying to put you down, um, but it does feel like energy that just keeps repeating itself. I understand why I would then build up walls, but those walls won't serve me because here comes communication, right? And this person's got her blindfold on, so her ears are open. And I love that the hermit is not only illuminating what's toxic to you or if someone will be toxic, you know, any snakes. feels like it's time for change. But I feel like this change is going to serve you well. Again, we have the Eight of Cups, which is about a new beginning. You know, where is this person heading to from the Eight of Cups? And they are literally leaving the Eight of Cups. That means, first of all, that means that I have really looked within my emotional house. I am understanding that certain cups have been knocked over. And listen... Even though I may not have asked for this change, I feel like this change is going to 100% benefit you. This person's heading to the Nine of Cups, which is inner harmony. I mean, inner harmony versus the Eight of Swords, self-created prison. Which do I want to live in? They're both eights. They both stand for new beginnings. And eight is the number of infinity. As above, so below. No beginning, no end. I feel like with that saying, there's nothing that you've been through in this lifetime that you have not been through before that you cannot overcome. Trusting your intuition. Some of you just know it's the right time. And then that, to me, is an invitation. Like, you know, as look, like on a universal level, an invitation for what is going to be new in my life. So I feel like someone's going to communicate. Let's take one over that. Look at this two of pentacles again. So it puts the ball in your court. You can say yes. You can say no. 
But what if this really is the one? You know what I mean? And it's a two. So to me, that means like maybe just be willing to step into it. You know, like I don't have to make a commitment. I can step into it, see where it goes. And if my walls are down and my intuition with the sun, it's like your intuition's on fire. Trust that. Trust it, whether it be, you know, I feel like you'll know if this is good or not. But if nothing else, I feel like what this is saying is maybe just give your op- yourself an opportunity to step into it. This could be the one. This could be the one. And the X, wow. Toxic. Dagger after dagger in your back. You know, with the five of pentacles over there, could certainly talk about someone who, you know, communicates and then stops communicating and then communicates and stops communicating. I hate that energy. I do. You know, kind of like feeling ghosted. I just, I did a video on that. Um, And I only did one. It's interesting that I only ever did one, but um, I released that a couple of days ago, I think. So I feel like this is just saying, free yourself from the past. You know, those who really weren't serving you anyway. I get it, you know, maybe for a while. And maybe still, like, I feel like someone had my heart, but they weren't treating you well. And it's a, I get this feeling like, and if I keep allowing them to get away with it, they're just going to keep doing it. So I have to make this change. Soulmates behind that five of cups. This could be the one. Trust your intuition. Head towards this inner harmony of the Eight of Cups. And the Nine of Cups also speaks about fulfillment of wishes. So, goodbye, X. Hello, new. Even, if, again, if I'm just stepping into it, the rest will reveal itself. Interesting. Okay. I know I say that with every reading, but I do find every reading interesting. You know, being a Virgo, I, I, you know, I call myself or I call Virgo the psychic detective because, listen, it may take us a minute or two. Um, but we're going to know. On a psychic level, we're going to know. Okay. All right, Taurus. Let's move into Gemini. Gemini is my moon. We have the full. So a new beginning. That's what the full represents. But it talks about, you know, the willingness to take a leap of faith. So something new is opening up for you. And it will require you to take a leap of faith. Um, you know, the fool also talks about the clearing of past energy. It's like the past doesn't really have, you know, I extract the wisdom of my experiences from the past, but I don't allow them to take any space up in my head or my heart any longer. So allowing this new beginning, but I may have to take a leap of faith. We'll see why. Nine of Pentacles again. Interesting, because this is a card of Virgo. And um, that is my sun sign. But again, Nine of Pentacles. Maybe taking a leap of faith as it relates to what it is you want to create in the world. You know, independent energy. It's almost like I'm saying, I don't really need anybody else to help me be successful. It's not that I wouldn't like to have a partner. It's not that I wouldn't like to have love. But it feels like, you know, what you do in the world and what you create 
is just as important. You know, nine is about reflection, but it is about final reflection. All right, we'll see what follows it. We have the hangman. The hangman is seeking wisdom on my next steps, but I'm seeking spiritual wisdom to help me on this physical plane. So it's like your spiritual team is saying, it's time to take a leap of faith in something. The hangman can be a pause in the action. Some of you, it could, you know, I know a lot of you. Um, I, I know a lot of your souls. I feel like we're all soul connected. And when I say I know you, I don't mean I know you in person, but I, but I feel you. And I, I feel like there are some things, some businesses um, that some of you have been wanting to create that maybe you haven't. This may be the perfect time. This may be the perfect time. We have the moon. It's funny because I have a Gemini moon. Um, this is the card of Pisces, ruler of cancer. You know, the moon can certainly talk about uncertainties. You know, if I'm looking, you know, maybe I want to create something, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. I do have to take a chance, right? I do have to take a leap of faith. But it's also very dreamy type energy. Interesting, because I get this picture of a few of you, like, who you may interpret dreams for other people. We have the Ace of Swords. First of all, I want you to just look at the image. It's like she's receiving these epiphanies from above. I also call the Ace of Swords my Yes card. We have the Three Swords under the Hangman. Like, I don't want to get my heart broken again. Look at this. Six of Wands, victory. The spotlight is on you. Spotlight is on you. It's mirroring the Ace of Swords. There may be a few of you who have been single for a little while, doing your, th your thing. Um, maybe some of you have already created you know, uh, because I feel like the Nine of Pentacles, again, is very independent type energy. It doesn't mean I don't want someone in my life. It just means I can take care of myself. And I definitely feel like a lot of you are receiving epiphanies, ideas. And I don't feel like that stops. I feel like that will only continue. But the hangman's seeking wisdom over this Three of Swords. So Three of Swords, it's, you know, heartache, loss. You know, whatever it may be, um, you know, I always know three swords going through that heart. It could be, again, like a repeat pattern. But I feel like you're coming out of that energy. This feels like old energy. And I feel like some of you have taken some time out of, you know, from love and instead put that energy into, you know, the things that you want to do in the world. You know, creating independence for yourself. Again, the spotlight is right on you. Six of Wands talks about victory and success. And it's mirroring that Ace of Swords. I feel like this is talking about a period of time that truly may feel like a dream. After a period of time that felt the opposite. Hmm. All right, well, let's take the Guild of Tarot over this, and I may come back and do um, a Romance Angel or two. Let's see what comes out first. You know, Gemini, what I want to say to you right now is trust these epiphanies you're receiving. Because I feel like it's leading you to 
a really good time in your life. You know, a, a period of time where you, first of all, some of you already feel like you've gained this independent nature, but now maybe you're ready for something new. You know, maybe I, okay, now I'm ready to allow something emotional, you know, like love to enter. The full saying, you are going to have to take a, um, a leap of faith. You're going to have to take a chance. Whoa. Okay. That card went too far away. So that card's staying right where it's at. Page of Swords. Over the Nine of Pentacles. Justice. Over the Hangman. I feel like I have to go get that card. Hierophant. I'm glad I went and got it now. Hierophant is about your faith, your belief system. Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe that your life can get better and better and better? You know, justice coming over the hangman. First of all, justice is a card of Libra. Um, but it, it certainly can talk about cutting your ties. I feel like with justice over the hangman, I can feel a little imbalanced. But it may be because most of my attention has been on my pentacles and not really on love, let's say. Um, but it does signify that there are some ties that probably do need to be cut. And I feel like when justice shows up in a reading, justice is about making you whole again. So I feel like, again, with the fool coming out, who is like living in the present moment, right? I extracted the wisdom from my past, but I'm not allowing it to take up any space within my, my mind or within my heart. Here is what feels like a broken heart. And maybe some of you have been waiting on someone to, you know, play their part and they're not. So, and I feel like the minute I cut those ties, I feel balanced again. I feel whole again. And again, justice is about making you whole again. You know, what's fair and just in your world. Some of you, that's what you've been asking. Like, should I cut these ties? You know, only you can answer that question, but I feel like it's signaling the answer is yes, especially because I have the yes card out. And then you have the Hierophant next to that. First of all, card of Taurus. It's interesting how every reading so far has had their neighbor in the reading. But this is about your faith. This is about your belief system. You know, some of you could have had given your, your energy to someone who... Um, again, is comfortable living in their lower vibrational energy. I feel like if I'm going to allow someone in my life, then I want their morals to be very closely aligned with mine. You know. I don't know. I just feel... I feel like... First of all, this is five, so it speaks of change, right? And maybe the reason why I've been hanging on to or asking myself for a while, should I cut ties or not, is because of your faith. You know, it could talk about marriage. And listen, when we get married, you know, we make that promise that till death do us die. But. Unfortunately, that's just not the way it works out a big, you know, a majority of the time. I'm not going to say always. Sometimes it works out perfectly. Also, this five that's connecting to the full, a new beginning and a change. Maybe you can't know exactly you know what the outcome would be but let's not forget 
Life is about the journey, not where we ultimately end up. It's about the journey and what we're learning from this journey. You know, and get excited about what what the potential of tomorrow may look like. But I do feel like first, there are certain ties that need to be cut. And if I'm seeking spiritual wisdom, asking, is this the right thing to do? Again, the Ace of Swords is my yes card. But that's your personal decision. You know what I mean? This is not like someone forcing you to do it. We have the Page of Pentacles over the Ace of Swords. Interesting two pages back to back. Page of Swords can be, um, can talk about a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be you. It could be you doing something now that you've always wanted to do but hadn't for whatever reason. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, which is about a path of knowledge, but could also represent um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It is connected to the Nine of Pentacles, which is a Virgo card. We also have Taurus right there. But it's about, really about what I have learned. And taking that wisdom... Again, the full, right? I extract the wisdom of my experiences, but then I let the rest go. Justice, cutting those ties, feeling whole again. Feeling whole again. Okay, we well got a bunch that flipped up. Hmm. We have the marriage card. This is the four of wands. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but we could certainly talk about a commitment. Because it's coming over the three of swords, I feel like maybe something didn't work out. Maybe all that I had hoped for, it didn't quite turn out that way. And I could see with the nine of pentacles, which, could, you know, can talk about, again, taking time out for yourself creating what it is you want to, you know, doing what it is you want to do in the world. But let's see what else came out. Queen of Pentacles, there. So there is my little psychic detective. But, you know, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles, coming over victory and success, that's a good thing because she's holding this big old pentacle in her hand. And she's mirroring the page of pentacles. Ten of cups. Hello, soulmates. The nine of wands. And look at this. The only card that came face down is the full. Gemini, I feel like you're at a place right this moment where you are deciding whether to cut ties with someone. And it could be a marriage, but it doesn't have to be. To me, the four of wands stands for commitment. But then comes out the two of cups. And the full in the same line makes me feel like this is this hasn't happened yet. And I love the ten of cups before that. You know, I feel like what you're realizing is your worth. Your worth. You know, what do I want to say? Like, like you're worth more than someone was giving you. You deserve more. Nine of Wands definitely talks about reflection. You know, reflection back. But let's not forget, final reflection in the nine of wands you know these wands they've already happened and i feel like in the nine of wands i'm looking back but i'm really seeing how much i have grown being proud of oneself or the things that i've overcome i feel like nothing will stop me from moving on at this point 
especially because then again, we have the four. So, we have the, we'll let that bike go by. We have the fool that's mirroring the Ten of Pentacles. And, you know, I speak about this all the time, about the journey. And not always needing to know, like, will this go, you know, into the Ten of Cups. Because there's free will, I don't think anybody can really predict that. But if I'm open to it, if I've cleared the past, if I've let go to let go of energy that's just no longer serving me and I'm willing to take these risks, take these leaps. I'm saying risks, but it feels like more of a leap. You know what I mean? I'm allowing myself to have a new beginning. I feel like whoever you're letting go of, it feels to me that, you know, like I felt, I think it was Aries reading where someone was just carrying lower vibrational energy anyway and very comfortable in it. But it doesn't feel right for you. I may have thought that I wanted something to work out, but it doesn't feel like it did. But yet in the same breath, in a way, I feel like you're being saved. I feel like we need the romance angels out. So let's give them a couple shuffles. And... You know, I feel like for some of you, you could have given someone a title of a soulmate. And maybe they really weren't a soulmate. Maybe that's what I want. But I just don't feel like soulmates break each other's hearts over and over again. So I feel like soulmates can work things out. So I may be leaving one relationship, though I do feel like you've, again, taken some time out for yourself. You reevaluated your own faith. You know, am I living life according to my terms? Or I have allowed, or have I allowed someone else to kind of take over? Okay. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I'm just looking down at this bottom line. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, well, you have the full twice. So releasing the past and justice, it feels like, you know, almost like a requirement. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love. In your present moment. And then you have children. Interesting. You may be reconnecting with someone from your childhood. Um, your love life is being affected by children. Well, you know, I also feel some of you may have stayed connected to someone. Because maybe you do have children together. But here's what I want you to consider. Let's say that you're in a relationship with someone. And maybe you have children together. Um, it doesn't even have to be together. Maybe you're just blended. But yet, your heart kept getting broken. Which would put you in this kind of like a sad state. Is it best for my children? You know, when I see this, it often reminds me of like when I was a kid. And when my parents were married, they're they got divorced. They're both gone now. But, um, <clears throat> and I loved them both, but I was a daddy's little girl. But I also noticed how my dad treated my mom and how he cheated on her a lot. And um, they fought a lot. And it really did break our hearts as children. Like, really, it was difficult. And then they did get divorced. And yes, it was difficult. But I remember as a young adult, my dad saying to me, I should have never left you kids. I should have never left you kids. And I said to him, Dad, it's the best thing you did because the fighting between you and mom was so difficult. It broke our hearts really on a daily basis. 
So I am not suggesting that anyone get a divorce. That has to be your choice. But I do feel like this is saying that if there are children involved, that the children also feel this energy. And it doesn't feel like in the greatest of ways. However, I also feel like this may talk about someone um, potentially coming back into your life that you did know as a child. You know, we are looking at soulmates, the full mirroring the Ten of Cups. So a new beginning that has the potential, let's say, of ending in the Ten of Cups. And to me, that's a house of love. Harmony. Harmony. That's an important word right now. Harmony between two. And let's say you already have kids. Well, you are a package deal. And I feel like 100% whoever is coming into your life will not only love you, but also love your children. Especially as a soulmate energy. I also feel like their morals, especially with the Hierophant mirroring the full and also touching this full. You know, this feels like two people, maybe. Two people going through similar type energies. And um, maybe both are leaving, you know, a potential relationship or a marriage. And they're going to, like, reconnect. You know, I'm saying reconnect. It doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be that. And actually, I want to just take one more. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, again, we're looking at the soulmates that has, first of all, the Nine of Wands. Let's not forget that. The Nine of Wands, again, is reflecting back. It's final reflection. But really, it's so that you can see how much you have grown. How much you yourself have evolved. And by the way, when you evolve and another one doesn't, it's natural that the universe just kind of wants that energy to go. Our humanness is what keeps bringing it back in again. So, you know, I feel like if someone is not treating you well, if someone is, you know, if, there, if there's a relationship that is just, I feel kind of hellish in a way. Does it serve me to stay in it? Does it? it? Let's say I have children. Am I helping my children? You know, maybe because the hierophant here is saying, you know, it is about your faith. And I can understand that, you know, it's very hard to disconnect these ties, especially if, you know, one is the father or one is the mother. And I do love forgiving and learning. That just means to me, and it's perfect with the full. It means that you're not going to bring that past energy forward with you. So, feeling, I have a feeling of soulmates coming in. They're going to stir up these feelings within you. You are going to have to take a leap of faith. And again, the full... I feel like this may talk about two people who are in very similar um, paths. Maybe you're just meant to meet at this time or reconnect. You know, it doesn't have to be someone of your past. It could be a past life. Because a soulmate to me is, you know, you're soul connected. That means you're always soul connected. You always will be soul connected. And the full mirroring, again, that Ten of Cups. You know, justice to me. I know it's not easy to cut ties. I know that. Especially if you already have a family. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot that can go through the head, you know, through your head. Um, am I hurting my children by doing that? But. Also think about what are your children living through? Now, I know not all of you have children. 
And I feel like that for some of you is talking about someone coming in that you probably knew, um, again, as a younger adult could be why we have these two pages here. You know, page of swords would be you page of pentacles, probably someone else, but this page of pentacles is coming over the ace of swords. So if this is talking, you know, I feel like it's talking about a couple different things. First of all, I feel like the Ace of Swords is answering a question. Should I or shouldn't I? To me, the answer is yes. And then it talks about epiphanies um, from your spiritual team to help to guide you. And, you know, the soulmate showing up, two fools, your belief system of five. I don't know. I just did that. I was trying to do a five. Um, and yes, it's coming over the moon, which can talk about uncertainties, but it can also be very dreamy energy if I allow it. I feel like this again is saying it's about just taking a step into it. But this feels like it has real potential of being, you know, lasting for the rest of your life. And probably beyond. Okay. Let's pick that up. I can't make. I could go on. I feel like I could go on and on and on. But my laptop just will not allow me. But I feel like this is giving us a good look. A good idea of. Let's just say what your spiritual team. Is sending your way. And I also want to remind you that this is talking about victory and success, really, in all areas of your life. Maybe you just need to take that chance. Allow this new beginning, right? Take that leap of faith. And see where it goes. And again, you know, especially with love, I feel like. Why do I want to move love so quickly? Because love is really about the journey. You know, getting to know each other, even if it's someone I already know. You know, it reminds me of like Sam and I. We knew each other when we were when we were young teenagers. Well, 15. Um, and then we broke up. And we reconnected in my 50s. Well, we're his birthday is like a month before mine, so we're the same age, really. Um, but we had to get to know each other as adults. Hmm. I don't know why I brought that up, but okay. All right, I think it's time to switch decks. So I am going to bring out the psychic churro. Give him a shuffle. And we're going to move into Cancer. My beautiful Cancers. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because my moon, I don't have my birth time. Um, and when I sent away for my birth certificate, that's why I did to find out my birth time because no one's alive who actually knows. Um, but there was no birth time on it. And it was an official, it was the official document, so I don't know. Um, but I had a lot of people tell me, oh no, you're a Cancer moon. And a lot of people tell me you're a Gemini moon. I feel them both. All right. Cancer. Hmm. Conflict and defeat. Now the good news is it's the first card. Again, a number five change by the way i'm i'm going to be taking a course um someone offered me a course in numerology and i love numerology uh so i am going to take it and then i'm going to share it with you so conflict and defeat uh -oh, there's the emperor again but look at this emperor he's like his arms are folded it's called authority Five and a four. 
and then movement choices and decisions. This emperor could represent a boss. Can resent, you know, represent a father figure. Um, I have to say, I get the feeling that this is about not taking this energy anymore. Ending the conflict. You know, maybe you tried and you tried and you just kept getting defeated. Again, he seems very resistant in this energy. Just his body posture seems so resistant. So here you are now trying to make a decision. Do I make a move? Ace of Wands. Passion ignited. So I feel like you are making a move. By the way, Look at her, how her heart chakra is being activated. This does feel like something new. You have one, two, four, five. We're just missing the three. Ace of Wands also to me is knowing that you're being guided, that your spiritual team is helping to guide you. Like It's like they understand what you're going through. But they can't interfere. Um, they can't interfere in your free will. But they can certainly help ignite like your heart chakra. They can certainly help, you know, help when you ask, you know, should I stay or should I go? They can certainly put certain feelings within you. But it's always going to come back to you. We have stand your ground. Under authority. And then we have firm foundation. I feel like that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. You know, sorry, Emperor, but I feel like you're causing some problems here. It almost feels like there's nothing I can do that seems right according to the emperor. But that's one person's opinion. And then you have the energy of standing your ground below that. So to me, it just means you're right about something. Um, but then I also feel like, you know, how long do I want to stay in that energy? You know, if something's not working, do I want to make this movement? You know, it does feel like you do have to make a decision. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to, but of course that's going to be up to you. But I, oh, I, I get this feeling like it's almost like I, I don't know that I can take much more. Look at these two fours. And this person's looking back at stand your ground. But the Ace of Wands, it's like she's going within for her answers. All right. This could certainly represent a person, the Emperor, or it can re represent a boss. You know, it could represent like a job. So we'll see. But I feel like ultimately what you're looking for is to feel strong within your own foundation. And it may take a movement to actually reach that. But the Ace of Wands is here to help guide you. Four Swords healing for you. Healing. Beautiful. And then, okay, so that's why I couldn't really, well, I shouldn't say that. I could pick up on the Emperor's energy, and I was feeling it in somewhat of a negative way. Um, but part of me is like, do you want to say that yet? Now I do want to say that. <laughs> the three swords coming right over the Emperor. But it's also representing you healing over this energy. 
So I feel like you are making a move. You are healing from past pain, heartache. You know, standing your ground, yes. But not to the point where you keep accepting defeat. You know, it's almost like no matter what I do, no matter what I say, I'm always wrong. Even though that's not the truth. But someone may make you feel that way. There's our three we were missing. And unfortunately, it had to come in the Three of Swords. And I just had a feeling that that's how it was going to show. All right. Well, King of Wands. Interesting. Over movement choices and decisions. Um, can represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is not the same person here, though. I can tell you that. It's not the same person. Look at that, the Five of Pentacles again. Over passion ignited. The High Priestess instinctively knowing what to do. But I do have to trust my intuition. You know, there could be some, like this movement that it's asking for. But actually what it does is it firms up your own foundation. It could come through difficult energy, no doubt, with the Five of Pentacles. But then the Ace of Wands is like, but I'm going to help guide you, my dear. I'm going to help get you through this energy. Not only that, but then the healing over. So whatever was, whatever heartache that I had to go through or that was forced upon me, let's say, um, this is saying, this is energy you can overcome. Then I have a feeling this King of Wands over here, I have a feeling this is someone new. And I have a feeling this King enters after you make a choice to make a move. And it doesn't have to be a physical move. You know, it could be an energetic move. Page of Swords again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Page of Swords. Interesting because, again, it's like where you have to stand your ground. But yet it feels like your voice is not being heard. Or it's not being validated. Uh, you know, authority. Someone's so resistant to change. So I feel like the only way that this situation could change is by me changing it. And, you know, I feel like this is also giving you some comfort to know that you will heal over, you know, the Three of Swords. That you will heal. Five of Pentacles change, right? It does feel like a tower, but it... You know, to me, the Five of Pentacles is temporarily difficult energy. But I I feel in the Five of Pentacles, where I'm moving to is to my, my soulmate family. Maybe a soulmate love. But I really feel the energy of like, you know, here, I feel like I'm not with my soulmate family. I'm not. I'm with lower vibrational energy. I'm with... People who always have to be right. You know, I always have to be wrong. You know, it does feel like, like my voice has been shut down. But I do feel like if you make a decision to make this movement, even though temporarily it can feel difficult, not only do you have the four of swords, so that three of swords, it's not going to hold any weight in your future. But also the Ace of Wands saying passion ignited. Well, it's following that king. You know, you can get through anything. I know you can. All right. I um I want to come back. I have a feeling this this reading are 
This video is going to be in two parts. Um, but I want to I want to look at this king a little bit more. Hello, Knight of Pentacles. So this to me is guardian angel energy. And the Knight of Pentacles carries a few messages. The first message is patience. Patience. But sometimes, you know, the universe is being patient on us. You know, it can't come in until you make a certain choice. Until you make a certain movement. Knight of Pentacles tells you, I come at the right time. So it's like, just when you need me, I'll be there. You know... Also, I want to say, if we remember that we're spiritual beings having human experiences, then the Three of Swords doesn't hold quite the weight, you know, because our soul came here to learn, to expand, to experience. It's like the classroom. But it's not all bad. There's a lot of good things our soul wants to learn. You know, and sometimes we want to learn all levels of love. This feels low vibrational. This feels more high vibrational because the Knight of Pentacles wouldn't be bringing it in if it was a lower vibration. So I come at the right time and it literally is coming over you making a movement, you making a decision, a choice. And then the King of Wands being there. So I feel like this King is of the light. This is someone who is of a higher vibration. And I come at the right time. That's a beautiful omen. I have a feeling for some of you, what you've been going through is... And I know some people don't like it when I say this, but this is just my belief. This is what I, my spirit guides put within me that, you know, we're not just here for fun. Though fun is part of it. We're not here just for love, though love is part of it. We're here also, you know, I because I feel like when you overcome this, when you finally make that decision, when you follow your intuition and, again, that Ace of Swords, passion ignited, then you're sending a signal to the universe that I am ready for something new, right? I'm not going to stay in this energy any longer. So I'm going to make a decision. And then here comes your guardian angel. I come at the right time. Okay, that sounds like the perfect place to bring out the romance angels. Because I do feel like this is talking about, well, look at that. Look how it just flipped. This could be the one again. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Oh my. Hello, wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Now, that could talk about, again, some of you could be, you know, or were in a committed, um, or you had hoped for a committed relationship, but it doesn't feel like it turned out that way. I'm going to be honest. But because the Knight of Pentacles is there, I feel like this is talking about the potential of what will be. Who knows? Maybe this is the person that you ultimately spend the rest of your life with. Retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. You know, maybe when you're in that energy, because it's interesting also, though, if you look at this image, it's like this, this woman has a wedding dress on. And it's like her father walking her down the aisle. And, you know, I feel like, interesting, I feel like for some of you, your father is, you know, if you've lost a father or a father figure, let's say, I feel like every time I say like a father or a mother, I'm corrected. 
father figure. This is like having a discussion with them. But I feel like they're not here on this physical plane. Yet they're walking right by your side. Like I'm never going to leave your side. I'll always be here to help you. To guide you. Hmm. I'm going to take one more. Okay, I guess we're taking more than one. Look at this engagement. So we have wedding, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Beautiful. And the reason why I'm looking at this so deeply, because the Knight of Pentacles, to me, again, is guardian angel. Oh, listen, some of you, you have a father figure who is your guardian angel. And they're helping to guide you to, I feel like, the perfect love. And maybe who you were with was more of like a free will choice or a karmic relationship. Whatever it may be. You know, and I also love that you're healing from that. You're healing the past. And this is about, you know, the Knight of Pentacles. Again, I come at the right time. Well, it's coming when you make the decision. You make the movement. Look at that. Your love life is send, ascending to a higher level of love. Oh, my gosh. Honeymoon. It's like telling the story a little backwards, but it's telling the story. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, hello, we're entering the holidays. Cancer, we're entering the holidays. So, engagement, wedding, and then honeymoon. And then last but not least, wow. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And it's interesting because in this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like you know who that is. I, I really don't feel this is a surprise. You know, maybe it's a, a surprise that you reconnect. But I feel like for many of you, you know and you probably knew the minute that these cards turned over, you knew who I'm talking about. Now, I, I never want to leave out past lives, you know. Um, because again, listen, first of all, the Knight of Pentacles wouldn't bring in a layer of vibrational energy. This father figure who I feel like is part of your guardian angel, is part of your spiritual team. It feels like they're standing right by your side. They're helping to guide you. And I feel like they're saying, you know, that they support your choice to make a change. I feel like, who are we even looking at? The king, right? I feel like this king ultimately feels like not only... Well, let's take it from the beginning, right? They they come into your life. I feel like very quickly you start to feel that energy. You know, romantic. And then maybe quickly you do become engaged. And then you get married. And then you go on your honeymoon. I mean, come on. The Four of Swords. It's like you're healing the past. It will have no, even though this is saying that potentially someone from your past is coming back, it is not this same person. I feel it so deeply that it is not this same person. I love that the Ace of Wands, passion ignited. Your heart chakra is going to be activated. Intuition. It's like trust your intuition here. Wow. The difference a day makes. The difference a decision makes. It is life changing. Life changing. But my God, does it feel just divine. Just divine. Okay. I feel like we just met your future spouse. 
Now, you know, I don't know why I always say this, but not everybody wants to get married again. Um, and you don't have to be married to be in a committed relationship. Sam and I aren't married, but we're 100% committed to each other. You know what I mean? Like, we will be together for the rest of our lives, you know, God permitting. Um, and there are, you know, it does kind of remind me of my story because, yes, there are things that I needed to heal. But everything that came in, the way that Sam and I came back together, it was all completely unexpected. But I'll tell you how it started with me making a decision to leave, actually, an Aries, you know. So I don't know. That's the only time I like to, I, well, not that I even like to bring up my story, but when I see it, I feel like I have to talk about it because some people feel like it's impossible. It'll never happen. No way. But then it does. But then it does. All right. Cancer. Wow. All right. Let me check my time. Oh my God, we're almost two hours into it already. Okay, so this will be in two parts, no doubt. All right, so Leo, my beautiful Leo's, mm, deception and envy. Recognition and reward. Interesting because they don't fit. Suffering in silence. That's a nine of swords. Seven of swords. Accelerated motion. Eight of wands. Triumphant success. Coming under recognition and reward. I, I get this feeling that someone's not giving you the recognition you deserve. And maybe you're not speaking about it. Maybe it's something you're holding within yourself. Um, hmm. And then we have the waiting game. Okay. Some of you may be in this game with another. You know, again, this reminds me of the reading. Um... I think I titled it as someone ghosting you. But then the outcome of that reading was so beautiful. So I do feel like some of you may be waiting on another. But here's the thing. It is saying that they carry deceptive energy. Now, it doesn't have to mean they're cheaters. But to me... I often feel the energy of lies, you know, like to the point where I have a hard time believing anything that comes out of their mouth. I feel like you just want the recognition that you deserve. But as hard as this is to say, I feel like I have to say what I feel and I feel like I probably will never get it from this particular energy. Again, some people are more than comfortable living in their lower vibrational energy. And by the way, that's their choice. There's not much we can do about that. But there's one thing we can do. We can stop waiting. We can stop waiting. It's, it's causing you suffering. And it feels like all you simply want is recognition. But then you have the Ace of Swords underneath that. Right next to Accelerated Motion. So I feel like the most important energy here is the Nine of Swords. Because this is where you are suffering from their actions. Or even lack of actions. I feel like you just have to ask yourself. Is this how you want your life to look? Because sometimes we have to take control of our own lives. Even if I had hoped 
and prayed that a certain someone would turn around and see me in a certain light. But I feel like it's not you. It's them. And what I mean by that is it's not that you're unlovable. It's that they have a hard time loving. They have a hard time being honest. And they keep you in this state of waiting, which is causing you suffering. Man, I pray. I pray that that changes. All right, let's take the Gilded Tarot over it. You know, this is a perfect place for releasing your ex to come out. And I shouldn't laugh. I don't even know why I laughed right there. Five of Cups. The Tower. I feel like you need to give that tower. If you want change in your life. Five of Cups is perfect energy not perfect energy but it makes sense that it's coming over deception and envy and it's i find it interesting because i've been there myself where we give someone so much of our time hoping that they will love us the way that we deserve but i don't feel like i'm going to get it in this energy but again i want to remind you the five of cups talks about the potential of a soulmate after the fact after I make the change, I feel like you're giving the tower. I have no doubt you're giving the tower. And it may hurt to even give this tower, but I feel like you're coming to the realization that if I don't give this tower, then I'm going to be stuck in this same energy. It's just going to be a repeat pattern, almost like the Ten of Swords. Don't forget in the Five of Cups, there's a potential soulmate out there. Look at that. Knight of Pentacles again. So again, your guardian angel. You know, your spiritual team knows everything that's going on in your life. They know what you're thinking. They know when you, like, deep down want change. But it's hard. It's hard. Right? It is hard. Because I do feel like this is energy where I had really had hoped that this is something that would have worked out. I really hoped that someone could see me and love me for who I am. But again, I feel like I want to take the blame off of you and put that blame on them. You know, like... Like, I could think of a million different reasons why someone would be in the Seven of Swords energy. You know, I could have grown up and there may not have been love in my family. So now I don't know how to express it. But I really feel like, I don't know, I'm feeling like this person is selfish. Like, I feel selfish. Not me, them. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is saying, I cannot come in. It's not that I don't recognize what you're going through. And by the way, the Knight of Pentacles brings you a pentacle in. And this pentacle is truly meant to enhance your life. But again, it comes at the right time. It's almost like if I'm still connected to this person, it wouldn't be the right time. It just wouldn't be. Three of Swords. Well... I already knew that. And then the high priestess again. It's interesting. Even though I'm shuffling the cards, we're getting a lot of the same energies out. And that doesn't surprise me because I do feel like we're all one big soul family. And a lot of us are going through very similar energies. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I really started doing this. Um, even using my own experiences. And let me tell you, I have had a hard life. But I've also had some true blessings in my life. This is about you trusting your intuition. I feel like this is you saying, 
I am not going to stay in this game of waiting on you to love me, to recognize who I am. And I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is saying, you're right on with that. Because, again, in that Five of Pentacles, a soulmate energy is behind you. I don't know it when I'm in that energy. Well, intuitively, you may. But with this hard energy, it can be hard to pay attention to your intuition. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing out the romance angels in a moment. And then the Hierophant. Uh, so first of all, Carter Taurus. But again, this is your belief system. This is your faith, your morals, and someone's not matching them. This is you living in a higher vibrational energy. This is you trusting that faith will help you, help heal you. It is a five. So change. But it's simply, I am not waiting any longer and i love that the hierophant is also connected to the knight of pentacles again who i read as your guardian angel this is of the light and mirroring the three of swords it uh, it just feels like i will i will overcome whatever heartache because i feel like you're already in it and it does feel like it's too much and I feel like the one that I had hoped would love me. You know, I'm not going to say they don't love you. I'm going to say they don't know how. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm giving them a pass. Because I feel some cruelty in that energy. So I feel, I almost feel like it doesn't matter. Why, you know, it's like they've had you on the hook and it doesn't matter why, because this is about not caring about that anymore. You know, I feel like you gave someone a shot and now I feel like what you're doing is you're delivering the tower to them. And I do feel like it took some time. You know, you may have waited and waited and waited. Again, it could talk about the energy of someone who comes in and out of your life. I don't feel like that's what you're looking for. If you're coming into my life, come in to stay. But yet, I don't want the Seven of Swords energy to stay in your life. I prefer that to leave, even though I know that can be heartbreaking. But that's temporary. I promise you. All right. I feel like we need to bring the romance angels up. And, and the main reason I'm bringing the romance angels up, because again, when I make this change, I'm no longer waiting. Those soulmates are behind me. I don't even know it yet. But here is my guardian angel who's going to be, del I mean, they're mirroring each other. So it's like, like your guardian angel ushering in love for you. All right. So what I'm looking at is, let's just say you you finally decide to give someone this tower. You cut that energy. Yes, it's going to take time to heal. But listen, excel it's coming. the three of swords is coming over accelerated motion. So I may think this is something that is going to take me forever to overcome. But the truth is, I feel like you, especially if a soulmate comes in, I feel like you will... You won't give this person the time of day. Children flipped over. Your love life is affected by children. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other.
wedding. I like how they're all flipping over in the deck. The situation involves a marriage. You know, do I feel like I should have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with this person? Certainly you can. But do I feel like it'll make a difference? Honestly, I don't. Because I feel like they are who they are. And I feel like they have no problem with that. Like, I feel like if I tried to have a heart to heart with them, a heart to heart discussion with them, they'd just be like, what? Why? Well, what am I doing? They know what they're doing. Look at this engagement again. Wow. And what I'm looking at is the two cups that sit behind the five of cups. I feel like we're not done though. Passion. That's all you wanted. Allow your heart to sing. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let's not forget who's ushering in these two cups. The Knight of Pentacles. You know, the lead of your spiritual team. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to take more. People wonder why my readings aren't short. It's because of my own curiosity. Like, I feel like I don't want to leave you hanging with questions. True love. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Now, if I knew that this was all coming in after I simply, well, I say simply, but I say no longer willing to accept someone's deception because all it's doing for you is leaving you suffering in silence. So I do feel like it is up to you to give this tower, but instinctively knowing the right time. And I feel like what you feel, you know, what I may tell myself is, what if I don't get over this energy? I feel like your spiritual team is going to help you with that. Because I feel like they're ushering in something, someone that, um, well, first of all, a true love. So to me, that's higher vibrational energy. And with the higher and connected to your guardian angel, that just makes sense. Right? I feel like we have some people who are going to be getting married, but not to who they're with, to someone new. Now, some of you may have already moved through some of this energy, so this could certainly be coming sooner versus later. You know, again, the Knight of Pentacles says, I, I move at the right time. I don't come, you know, you can ask for me to come in, but until... You know, your free will makes the changes or at least understands that you deserve a higher form of love. What sense would it be for me to come in then? Because again, what I bring is truly meant to enhance your life. I feel like you just needed to come back to yourself. You needed to think about your own self-worth. You need to know that you're lovable. It doesn't matter what this person is telling you. I feel like this is someone you're going to meet. And I feel like through conversation, it's just going to open up your heart chakra. It's going to open up passion. And I do feel like a day will come when you'll be like, how the hell did I end up with this person? Listen, I know that energy. I can look back and think about some of the people, especially in my younger years, that I 
gave my energy to who totally didn't deserve it. You know, even one who was very abusive. You know what I mean? And I, I look at my life now and I'm with the love of my life. I am with the true love. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is saying to you. I may have hoped and wished and prayed that this person would give me the recognition and the love that I deserve and maybe that I give to them, but I don't feel like you're going to get it. I'm sorry. I just don't feel like you're going to get it. So I feel like the change is a necessity. No more waiting because all it's doing is keeping you, well, hurt. Guardian angel, just waiting for you. That's what I feel. I'm waiting for you. And whenever you say no more, when you give this tower away, I promise you, I am bringing you in a true love. Not only a true love, but again, engagement that goes to wedding. Some of you, this could be someone even that you end up having children with, or it could be a blended family. But this is the highest level of commitment, and this is true love. This is kind of, this person's kind of just playing with love. Now, this is, this is everything. This is everything. And I get that when we're in like the nine of swords, suffering in silence, it's hard to believe that that can actually happen. But, you know, I'm living proof of it. And so are many of you, you know, many of you have been through this energy and have overcome it and now have reconnected or connected to someone who, when you look back, you're like, thank God, thank God I gave them the tower. Thank God I'm no longer in this waiting game. True love, guardian angel, just waiting for you to give the tower. It's almost like a signal. And then that is my timing. That is my sign that you are now ready for this beauty that's below. Recognition and reward? Well, yeah, you're going to have it here. You don't have it here, but you will have it. But you do have to allow it at the same time. Wow. Okay. Holy cow. Again, the difference that a day can make. A difference in just the way we think, right? It can change everything. It can change everything. All right, let me check my time again. Oh my God, I'm at two hours. All right. Did I just put those back on top? I did. Okay, well that, well. That's interesting. So I just put them all back on top. But right in between the cards, which did not come out, unless I missed it, is patience, temperance, divine timing. This is a reminder that divine timing is at work in your love life, in your life, period. But patience, but sometimes I feel like it's the universe having patience on us. I feel like this is just a little extended message to you, Leo. It's weird how it didn't come out. And it's right in the middle of everything else. Okay. All right, Virgo. Rest and rejuvenation. This is a four source. This is healing. This could talk about getting out into nature. You know, I do feel like for Virgos, and I am a Virgo, this is one of the best ways, not only to help heal, but for comfort. I also feel like this is where we can really pick up signs, epiphanies, 
out in nature. And it doesn't mean you have to go out into the woods. Maybe you just go in your backyard. I feel like you take your shoes off. Put your feet in the grass. You know, hug a tree. Like reconnect with nature. And I feel like when you reconnect with nature, you're reconnecting with yourself. Look how the person's, it's like they're in the position of, of receiving. Two fours. Look at that back to back. Discontentment, boredom. Now, interesting because very close to the five of cups energy. Can't see it in this card, but normally in the four of cups, you'll see a cup that's coming in. And it often feels like it's coming from the hand of God or divine, whatever you want to say. This person's back is to the world. You know, I feel like Maybe you're satisfied in a lot of areas in your life, but this talks about something emotional. It's almost like I'm turning my back to the world. Maybe you needed a little time out. You know, two fours, whoop, back to back. Actually, this way. Um, the four of cups is... is a message to use your spiritual discernment as this cup starts to enter your life. Well, a low cup. Wow. Like immediately, here is that cup. Love begins. Maybe I needed to take some time out. I needed to rejuvenate. I needed to understand the areas of my life that I'm not so satisfied in. I don't feel like it's all areas. I feel like this is of an emotional nature. By the way, there's two different hands holding this cup. Loving water is being poured down upon you. Hmm. Three of swords. But. I feel like this is what you are overcoming or have overcome. The Empress. Beautiful. The Empress, by the way, look at this. 44, 33. I may have some here that have master numbers uh, 33 or 44. I just want to say that. Um, but the Empress, you know, the Empress knows who she is. The Empress has lived a lot of life, and I'm not talking about age-wise. I've had a lot of experiences, but I have learned how to learn from them, evolve from them. The Empress really has learned not to shut her heart down. You know, in the Four of Cups, I feel like maybe my heart was shut down. Maybe I did need to take some time out. And there is nothing wrong with that. You take whatever time you need. But I love, then you emerge as the empress. Loving, nurturing, creative, wise, strong. Nobody's full. So when this ace comes in, instinctively, you'll feel it. You know, I feel like the empress really trusts her intuition. She knows. You know, like, good luck if you're coming in lower vibrational energy. I'll know it. And being so open in the Four of Swords, it's like opening to the universe. And it's mirroring love begins. Two Swords, Mental Conflict. Now, I have to say, it doesn't fit with the Empress's energy. But, you know, human nature, yes, I could see where, for a moment, I could be like, whoa, wait a minute, here we go, here we go, here comes love, am I ready? 
right? Am I ready? Am I ready to move out of that four of swords energy? I feel like because we have discontentment and boredom here, and it is of an emotional nature, and the four cups ask you to use your spiritual discernment relating to this cup that's coming in, and then boom, here is that cup. I feel like also human nature is sometimes fear can re-arise. You know, it's like, I feel like I'm ready. But then here it actually is. And, you know, the Two of Swords is not the worst thing in the world. It's not the Eight of Swords. It's not a self-created prison. It's simply a moment of fear. But it's relating right back to the Two of Swords. I mean, the Three of Swords, sorry. All right. Wow. Hello, soulmates. Look at them eye to eye. The eye is the window to the soul. Same vibrational energy. Some of you, this is what you're manifesting through the Four of Swords. It's like you're out in nature. You're reconnecting to yourself. You're telling the universe you're now open. You know, I don't feel like I'm putting like a lot of stipulations on it. I'm just open. I'm open to love. Okay. Well, here you go. Here's a soulmate. Another two. Soulmate, mental conflict. Love begins. It's a soulmate. A little bit of fear may arise, but the Empress is not going to live in that fear. She's going to use her spiritual discernment to decide whether I accept that ace or not. Because remember, you can always say no. We have the Ten of Wands over discontentment and boredom. You're ready for this change. Not only are you ready for it, but I feel like you've cleared a lot of energy. Like you know who you are now. You know, you're not willing to take on other people's burdens who are not willing to play the, you know, well, I was going to say play the game. But this could certainly talk about, um, because this is coming over an emotional energy where maybe you have the tendency to put the brunt of the responsibility for a relationship on your shoulders. Ten of Wands to me, it just feels like too much. You know, it's backbreaking. I'm tired of carrying all the weight. And because the Empress is here, I feel like you're not any longer. So this is probably energy you've cleared. I often feel in the Ten of Wands, someone is subconsciously wishing for a tower so that my life can change. You know, I feel like you're, you're doing pretty well in all other areas of your life. Maybe the one area you felt that you were lacking was in love. And then again, it's not even that I feel like I need it to be happy. But I feel like it's still here. It's still coming in. Okay. And yes, we will bring out the romance angels again. Look at this. The ace of cups over the ace of cups. Mirroring the soulmates. So we now have two cups, two aces of cups, mirroring soulmates where there are two cups. Wow. Wow. You're falling in love. You are falling in love. And so is someone else. Someone is falling in love with you. And maybe it feels like powerful and that may be why fear raises its ugly head but i don't feel like for long i don't feel like for long i feel like that's just human nature 
Look at that. Two ones, two three, two, two twos, two threes, two fours. Synchronicities, my friend. I feel like a card just came out, but it didn't. Some of you are here to master certain things in your life. And, you know, maybe that was important to me. Like that I master maybe my career. I master, you know, empathy and compassion. But now it feels like it's time for love. We have the devil, card of Capricorn. Coming over the Three of Swords. The devil really talks about temptation. And you can certainly talk about someone that you were tempted to before. You know, we do have the Ten of Wands. We do have discontentment and boredom. Um, it could simply mean Capricorn. But coming over the Three of Swords, I feel like it's talking more about temptation. And you understanding that now. We have the hangman under discontentment and boredom, the ten of wands, and coming right over the empress. You know, if the em empress is seeking spiritual wisdom on this physical plane, she's going to receive it very quickly because she's very open to receiving. Nine of cups. Inner harmony, fulfillment of wishes. There's that King of Wands back. Two of swords, two of swords, synchronicities, and then the beautiful sun. First of all, card of Leo, or ruler of Leo, really, but illumination. You know, I feel like, okay, first of all, with two, two swords out, the sun would say to you that you don't need, you don't need to worry whether this is going to be all that it can be. Because when the sun comes out, anything that's done to in the dark will come to the light. Maybe some of you realized that with the devil's energy here, again, temptation right over the three of swords. Maybe you did have to break a tie. But did it serve you? A hundred percent. But you and someone else are, what's the word I want to use? Are going through very similar energies. Not only the sun, but look at the line, the nine of cups above it. And then the two aces of cups. This is love of the light of the highest. Romance angels, for sure. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to take it right across the middle. Because I feel like with rest and rejuvenation being your first card, I feel like a lot of you... Um, I feel like you are starting to feel whole again. I feel like the only thing that you may feel is lacking is of an emotional nature. But that's about to change. You know, how interesting this keeps coming out. This could be the one. This could be the one. Wow. You know, it's almost a question. But I feel like it's a fact. I feel like it's a fact. Yes, this could be the one. Maybe you ask yourself, oh, look at that. Doesn't matter how many times I shuffle. We're getting a lot of the same energy. Wedding. This involves marriage. This situation involves marriage. How could it not?
Let go of control issues. That feels like the two of swords to me. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That feels like the two of swords. So let's say I do have any fear. Then the best thing to do is just to step into it and take it slow. Someone from your past is returning. So, again, this could be past life. It feels like past life to me. But, again, it could be someone that you already know. But you are definitely mirroring each other. I feel like both of you have come down here to master certain things in life. And by the way, when, when I say that, I feel like, I feel like my soul wanted to master maybe a career, you know, maybe my way in the world. And now it just feels like the one thing I was lacking was of an emotional nature, but all that is now changing. And when I see wedding, I feel it's the highest commitment of all. This could be the one. I want to change it and say, this is the one. This is the one. All right, let's just see if anything else wants to come out. We already know it's a soulmate. It literally is showing us that. And it's mirroring the two aces that the soulmate energy carries. Make the effort. So I just got to get past that little bit of fear. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. First of all, that should soothe the soul, knowing that you're being guided. This isn't just a random person coming into your life. This is probably the love of your life. And you're being guided. You're each being guided. That's why I'm, recogni I'm recognizing all the synchronicities in this reading. Wow. Virgo. You know, and I'm also a Virgo. So again, I can see my story in here. Um, you know, because I did get my career and all that in order. And I have to say, I don't know if you've heard me say this before, but I do feel like, like if Sam would have came back into my life before I started my tarot business. I don't know that I would have started it. And it means so much to me that I feel like even though, again, he came in and it was completely unexpected. And now we are in union. We're not married, but we're living together. So I kind of feel that here. And we and Sam and I have a lot of synchronicities. And I feel that here. Wow. What a beautiful reading, Virgo. What a beautiful reading. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is stop the video because we're getting very close to the end. Um, and then I'll pick up and I'll do uh, Libra through Pisces. So they'll have you, we'll do this in two parts. And I hate to do that, but I feel like I have to do that because I don't want to run out of time. Um, but what a perfect reading to end this, this video on. Again, the two of cups that's mirroring two aces, or two aces of cups, love, make the effort the sun it's like the sun is here to illuminate that there's nothing to fear here don't be afraid to make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take let go of control issues what's that say underneath that allow this situation to just unfold naturally You're finding the love of your life. I don't know what else to say. You're finding, and and listen, you're each finding each other. 
And maybe it is going to be unexpected for both because both are being guided. If you just look at the synchronicities alone, both are being guided. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to let this be um, and I will pick it back up in the next video for Libra to Pisces. I love you guys. I thank you. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, yeah, I want to remind you about the personal reading special I'm doing. And um, other than that, happy November. Happy November. I love you guys. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Oh, doesn't want to end.